Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Friday. I'm Brent O'Leary. And I'm Julia Marble. Diversity Club is selling Valentine's Day roses next week for $5. Red for love, pink for crushes, and white for friendship. And I also heard that Maxwell will, will be delivering the roses, so that should be entertaining as well. As you all know, we have a huge game tonight, but for those who may not know, it is also Coaches versus Cancer Night. And cancer is something that has touched us all in did many different ways, so let's go over to Coach Morley about this event. This is the shirt that um, uh, the girls' basketball team will be wearing. Um, it's just talk, it has the Eagles and the Blue Jays on it. It talks about playing for a reason. It also um, shows two Ks on the, the ribbon. And um, one of the Ks is for Kiana, the student that got diagnosed with um, leukemia. And the other K is for Ken, who is the father of one of our former players that was uh, lost his battle to leukemia um, three years ago. And then on the back of it, we have Team Kiana, um, as to, to show some support for Kiana, the student that was diagnosed. Thanks guys, that's a really cool cause and it's always fun to donate for that. And I'm sure you've all seen Jordan Vega around our North Nation sports broadcasts. Mm -hmm. Be sure to wish him a happy 18th birthday today and he will be back with Peyton Price next week with sports. But until then, let's head over to the Brock and Brock Morning Show. Good morning, Liberty North. Welcome to Brock and Brock in the morning. I'm Brock Baldridge. I am Brock Gorton. Well, today is the big day for game day. Liberty North men's and women's basketball teams will be going against Liberty for the Crosstown Cup. I mean, it's going to be a huge game, Brock. Are you ready? Yes, of course I'm ready. Why would I not be ready? Yeah. You've well, seen my outfit. Uh, I have, yes. But uh, we have some Liberty North sports updates starting with the wrestling team. They will hit the road again really early tomorrow morning at St. Joe Benton. The, the match there will begin at 9 a.m., so... I mean, it's going to be hard to get up there if you it's want a, to see the wrestling team. It's a dual tournament. That's yeah. They goes all day. Mm -hmm. and it's just like that Carney dual tournament yeah. they had last week. As usual for basketball, we're going to start off with the freshman boys who actually put the boots to Platte County mm -hmm. last night as A team beat the Pirates 56-38. And B team really put the boots to them, holding Platte County only 19, winning 52-19. That was the season finale. The rest of the games for them are tournaments. This Sunday will be the annual NFL Pro Bowl that will be played in Orlando this year. The AFC will play the NFC on NBC at 7 o'clock. And six Chiefs players will be playing in that game, including Tyreek Hill. The NFC is going to get a little taste of some of that explosive speed he has. It'll be like chasing a cheetah. Huh, I wonder why it would be like chasing a cheetah. It's not like <laughs> his nickname is the cheetah. <laughs> well, there's some really good college basketball games this weekend, especially with the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Starting off with the Kansas State Wildcats, They'll head on the road to Knoxville to face the Tennessee Volunteers after they just came off a huge win upstate Kentucky Tuesday night. Game time there will be at 1 p.m. on ESPN2. And speaking of the Kentucky Wildcats, they will host the Kansas Jayhawks at 7 on ESPN. That's going to be a block -up match, blockbuster matchup Saturday, Brooke. It will. Two really good teams coming off tough losses, upset mm -hmm. losses on the road both times. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate Mizzou won't be playing in this tournament because there's only yeah. 10 teams in the Big 12. So mm -hmm. instead, Mizzou will have a home game on Saturday against South Carolina at 7.30 p.m. on the SEC Network. All right, Brock, it's been a long time waiting. Tonight, Liberty versus Liberty North. The theme for tonight's game, or the student section, is game day and gold rush. I mean, why not? It's sort of good luck when Liberty North wears gold. And as we said yesterday, we're counting on you, Liberty North, for everyone we need possible to go to this game. And to make that point made well, here's a video by our very own Thomas Philpott. Uh, we're preparing for this game just like we do every single other game. Uh, it's our most important game because it is our next game. Uh, Coach McCabe has us all in the right mindset. Uh, toughness and maturity are our biggest things. Uh, so we're going to stay tough, play hard, stay true to our principles. And that's how we're going to get through this game. The main thing we've been working on for the Liberty game is we're going to make sure we get out on the three-point shooter so we take that shot away from them. We're really excited for the Liberty game because they're a crosstown rival school and it's going to be a really competitive game out there so hopefully we come out on top. Uh, student section, we want you to be there, show up. You guys have done a bad job this year. We just want you to show up, cheer your team on, cheer your school on. Uh, Liberty better not have a bigger student section than us. That's all I got to say. Hi, I'm Hammer Trinidad. 
here at the Liberty North Park Hill game. North Nation, are you ready? Yeah! Uh, we really want the student section to show up, be there, be loud, stand up. Just cheer us on so we know we have our school behind Be us. Be proud. Quit being soft. Well, you know, Brock, uh, Gold Rush is lucky for North in basketball. They're 2-0 against Liberty in it. <laughs> and Liberty's yeah. had two different themes against North for it. Mm -hmm. oh, well. They're going to come at us with another theme this year? <laughs> oh, well. But, I mean, the door's open at 4.30, and it's also Coaches versus Cancer tonight. Plus, if you're looking for a good dinner, go to the cafeteria at 5.30, where Chick-fil-A will be selling chicken nuggets, a side, and a drink for $5. The women's game starts at 6.30, and right after that, the men's game will start at 8. And just in case you want to watch the game live, but you can't go to the game, go to NorthNationMedia.com, live channel one. We'll have the game covered for you, and we hope to see a great atmosphere out there tonight. And, well, we'll send it back up to the front desk for now. I'm Brock Baldridge. And I'm Brock Gordon. And I'll this... be in the student section. <laughs> and this is Brock and Brock in the morning. For those of you who are not assigned for Eagle Hour today, go to the sports marketing room 415 to make posters for tonight's game. The theme is game day, so wear your jerseys and have your signs. And if you can't make the game tonight, our North Nation sports crew will have the game live on Channel 18 in Liberty, or you can go on to NorthNationMedia.com. Um, so let's open. We have the court warming announcement. Oh, yeah. And we have not seen it yet, so we are going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, congratulations to the following seniors who were nominated to, to serve as our 2017 court warming court. These students have shown extraordinary support of our basketball programs, and their support of these teams is truly appreciated. Your court warming king candidates who were nominated by the girls basketball team are um, Amanda Chacon III, Nick Coleman, Drew Geyser, Payne Price, and Jackson Wilhite. Congratulations, guys. And your court warming queen candidates who were nominated by the boys basketball team are Lindsey Downey, Catherine Hemingway, Katie Pohl, Shea Prather, and Lizzie Stark. Congratulations to all you seniors. Um, information regarding your role in the court warming festivities will be delivered to you later today. Congratulations to all the 2017 court warming candidates. Um, we hope you guys can all make it out to the game tonight. Um, until then, we'll see you guys on Monday and catch, catch you on, on the, the north, north side. side. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice.